And tonight, new information on a man shot to death on a quiet Sherman Oaks street. Police arrested a man who lives on that block. CBS 2's Rachel Kim just spoke with the victim's brother and has more on the circumstances surrounding the shooting. My brother was, he was a good man and he had family that, that loved him. An emotional Shad Martinez met us at the spot where his brother was shot and killed last week. He wants people to know that 52-year-old Mondo Martinez, a hardworking handyman, was a victim, not a criminal. This whole thing is just a nightmare and I'm just... Uh, it's, it's, it's taking a toll on the family, you know. Around 5.30 a.m. on Thursday, Martinez was shot and killed inside his gray car on Hesby Street in Sherman Oaks. The shooter, 39-year-old Ethan Wall, an Army veteran who lives on the street. LAPD detectives say Wall told them he thought Martinez was a burglar casing the area, so he confronted Martinez. Wall says Martinez then pointed a gun at him, and that's when he shot Martinez, claiming self-defense. After he was hit, Martinez continued to drive and crashed into a tree. Police say Wall approached and shot him a second time. Not only did you shoot my brother while he was driving off, he crashed in this tree. You walked over here and shot him again. After talking to Wall and looking at the evidence, detectives arrested Wall for murder. They told us they recovered two handguns. Investigators say one is confirmed to be the one used by Wall. The other one is still under investigation. My brother doesn't own a gun. Sorry. As for why Mondo Martinez may have been in the area that morning. I don't know if he was waiting for his friend to get home or waiting for his girlfriend. And, you know, he had sleep apnea. He could have just pulled there and just fell asleep. While detectives figure out a motive for this murder, Shad Martinez's family hopes justice will be served. He killed my brother. Bottom line, hands down. Detectives tell me Wall is out on bail and is waiting for his next court date. We were unable to reach him today for a comment. Reporting from Sherman Oaks, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.